In this video I'm going to show you a new feature specific to Family Browser Professional for Revit 2014 and that is project specific groups. Now project specific group is a group of families that are specific to the current project that you're working on and very simple to set up. If I come over to Family Browser here I've got um, four existing groups in here. I'm going to right mouse click and go to group options add a project group brings up this dialog box I'm going to give this project group a name and I'm going to call it test project group in this instance but you'll probably name it something um, to do with your project and the folder location where the um, project specific group is going to be and where the families are going to um, live I'm putting this in my documents um, but you would probably put it on a shared network driver folder so everyone in your team can see it. Ok I'm going to just now go create once I've done that and now you'll notice that um, the last item of the group pull down now is um, the new group that we've made, the project specific group and it's got a PG in front of it. Um, suffix so clearly visible that it's a project group and it will always be last no matter how many groups you have the project specific group will be last okay I'm just now going to pin this open um, and we're on the project specific group now I'm going to add a tab so just right mouse click tab options add a tab and I'm going to call it a name I like furniture add that we'll add another tab called um, plumbing and one more tab called doors. Okay so I've created the tab structure obviously there's no families in here but it's now really easy to populate our project specific um, tabs by if I go to say doors um, right mouse click on a door family options we can now add family to the project group it'll pop up um, what tab you want to add them to I'm going to add that to the doors I will add this one to the doors and I'll add another one uh, family options add family to project group doors I'll add this one here to the um, plumbing um, add family to group just to show you how this is working so now if I go back to the test project group we've got the doors in here they not indexed to the um, database so we're getting the cross but that's fine furniture's got none and the um, plumbing um, the bath here has got um, funny icon what I'm going to do here um, just to show you to go to family options locate family on the disk now it's been saved into the documents um, project group test plumbing bath I'm just going to go to that location and we'll edit that bath the reason why that icon has gone like that is because this bath is in plan if I now just go to 3D views and now save that hop out of here now if I um, family options um, repair icon we'll get a, a nicer bath so this is um, families that are specific to this group we can also if I go to the furniture tab and go to this project I can actually um, grab a family from a project as well. If I go now family options and add to family project group um, select furniture it'll extract that family from that this project and pop it into this location over here and there goes that dining chair. So a couple of ways to get your families into into these tabs or you could um, manually copy the families into these folders. Ok, now if I just show you start up a new project ok, okay. 
so just a blank project here the project specific group because it hasn't been set up in this project is now not there okay it's been removed from the groups but if I tab back into into my project here it'll recreate that project specific group so that's project specific groups in Family Browser 2014 Professional enjoy